Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is task five using GoFish, so let's hop right in. Uh, this task will take you through setting up GoFish, sending a phishing campaign, and capturing user credentials from a spoof website. Firstly, launch the virtual machine by clicking the green start uh, machine button on the right. Once loaded, click the following URL to open the GoFish login page. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you should receive, you should be able to log in with the username admin and password try hack me. So I am going to uh, just stop the video and do a, a slight transition because it usually takes a few minutes to start this these machines up, uh, these virtual machines up. And obviously, uh, you don't want to sit here and watch it start up. So uh, we'll be right back and then uh, we'll jump right back into this. Thanks. Hey everyone, we are back. Uh, the as you can see, the virtual machine has launched, so we will pick it right back up now, um, and then we will close out of this. Uh, goes copy the link address. All right, we are at the GoFish sign-in page. All right, and the pass or sorry, the username is admin, and the password is try hack me. Sure, we'll save it. Why not? <laughs> no, we're not going to save it. Um, so great, there is the dashboard, which I can't move this over. Um, but there is our dashboard. So let's continue here. Uh, sending uh, sending profiles. Sending profiles are the connection details required to actually send your phishing emails. This is just simply an SMTP server that you have access to. Click the sending profiles link on the left hand menu and then click the new profile button. So sending profiles and then we're going to click new profile. And then uh, add the following information, name, local server, from no reply at redteam.dhm host is 127.0.0.1 on port 25 then click save um, save profile all right and landing pages next we're going to set up the landing page this is the website that the phishing email is going to direct the victim to this page is usually a spoof of a website the victim is familiar with click the landing pages link on the left hand menu and then click new page button uh, landing page and new page we're going to call this acme login and the reason I know that is because of right here. So we hit the new page button and it says give the landing page the new Acme login and that's what we just did right there. Next in the HTML box, you'll need to press the source button to allow us to enter this HTML, uh, HTML code is shown below. So I'm gonna copy all this. I'm gonna hit, I'm, I'm just using the, uh, the shortcut key here and then I'm gonna paste this in, copy it again. Uh, source. So we'll see if I did that right. So it says, click the source button again, and you should see a login page with username and, and, and uh, username and password fields as per the image below. Also, click the capture submitted data box, and then also the capture password box, and then click the save button. So let's just make sure we did that right, because I'm not 100% sure we actually did that right. Oh, there we go. And um, so that's correct. And capture submitted data, and then capture passwords. That's the two... Uh, the other items and then I'm going to click save this page and email templates this is the design and content of the email you're going to actually send to the victim it will need to be persuasive and contain a link to your landing page to enable us to capture the victim's username and password click the email templates link on the left hand menu and then click the new template button 
give the template the name email one. The subject new message received. Oops, sorry. Maybe it would help if I actually could spell. Received and click the HTML tab and then the source button to enable HTML editor mode. Uh, in the contents, write a persuasive. I'm sorry. In the contents, write a persuasive email that would convince the user to click the link. The link text will need to be sent set to uh, this, but the actual link will need to be set to which will uh, URL code, which will be changed to our spoofed landing page when the email gets sent. You can do this by highlighting the text link and then clicking the link button on the top row icons to make sure the protocol drop down to other. Uh, and then it says your email should look familiar. So similar to this screenshot below, click save template once complete. Uh, so let's try that now. So um, click the image. So, so Oops. I'm oh, sorry. I still had the other uh, the other information on there, so we're gonna put this in there. And protocol is going to be other. And then it says uh, your email should look similar to the screenshot below. Um, so I'm going to be honest. I think I missed a step here. So. Let's just take one quick second here. Um, oh, I say, I say, okay. Well, uh, you've received a new message. Uh, I just want to. I'm. I'm not going to copy the rest of that because it's already pretty explanatory. What we have to do there, uh, and then I'm going to save that, and then we're going to users and groups. This is where we can store the email addresses of our attendant targets. Click the users and uh, groups link on the left hand side uh, menu, and then click the new group button. New group, and then give the target the name target. Or sorry, give the group the name targets, and then add the following email addresses. That is not what I want to do. So, I guess I'll just do this one at a time. Because so I can see right down by here, they're actually not including the first names at all either. There's space in there. Please enter an email address. Why is that not taking that? So let's just try to enter it in. Martin at Acme IT support.thm. Okay, there we go. We have to physically add that in there. Doesn't like the copy and paste. So Acme uh, IT support.thm. 
And lastly, we have accounts at Acme IT support that THM. And then uh, we will click click the save template button once completed. So the screenshot will look like this, and it does. We're gonna hit save changes. Campaigns. Um, so now it's time to send your first emails. Click the campaigns link on the left hand side and then click the new campaign button. Set the following values for the inputs as per the screenshot below. Uh, name will be campaign one. Uh, template will be email one. Uh, landing page will be Acme. URL is going to be five. Dot six zero, and again, I'm just copying that right from here. I'm just copying that right into this section here. Uh, launch date should be two uh, for this lab. For this lab, set it to two days ago, just to make sure there are no complications with different time zones. In a, in a real operation, this will be set correctly. So uh, I'm going to set it to November the fifteenth. Uh, sending profile. It's going to be local server. Groups, uh, we're going to have targets. Once completed, click the launch campaign and you'll produce Are You Sure prompts. You can just press the launch button. Launch campaign, launch, has it scheduled. And you'll be directed to the results page of the campaign. Results. Uh, the results page gives us an idea of how the phishing campaign is performing for, by letting us know how many emails have been delivered, open, clicked, and how many users have submitted data to our spoof site. Um, so thus far, uh, we can see two have been opened, nothing's been clicked, nothing submitted, no e. So it looks like oh, we have an error down there. So as it's like as it right as it is right here, you'll see at the bottom of the screen a breakdown for each email address. You notice that both Martin's and Brian's emails have been sent successfully, but the account's emails resulted in an error. We can uh, we can dig in the error more by clicking the drop down arrow next to the account's row. And viewing the details of the error. So let's see here. View. Uh, looks like that it was a bad email address. So, um, and then see here. So that's the same thing. After a minute and providing you follow the instructions correctly, you should see the status of Brian changed to submitted data. Uh, yes. Yes, he did. And then expanding Brian's details. So let's see here. And he was using. You can even see what he was using. Uh, oh, and there's his password. There's his username. Um, and then we could also see the same thing for Martin. Because um, his email has been sent, but he didn't add it, put anything in. And um, you could, again, that's all correct. And uh, what is the password for Brian? Well, we just found out his password is P4 dollar sign dollar sign W A zero R D exclamation point. And there we go. We have uh, officially co compromised uh, Brian's email from Acme IT support at, uh, at, at dot thm. Um, so what we, could we do with that with that account now? All sorts of very bad things. Um, I know this was a little more lengthy than the ones prior, um, but uh, obviously we were doing a lot more here because we just built out this whole campaign from GoFish. Um, but again, uh, we, this was actually incredibly helpful, um, just to see how this is actually laid out and just seeing all the things that are going on here with this campaign and how, you know, attackers actually build these things. So, uh, we will continue this in task number six droppers. So I will see you there.